what is up you guys it is me your favorite girl stephanie chanel and welcome back to my channel Today, you guys, I have a little Holly haul for you, okay? So I went shopping a little bit. Not, not for real, for real. But I was like, let me just come on here and show you guys what I got. So the very first thing that I picked up was this suite on the outside from Finery. And this is the body mist. I don't know if y'all can see it. But y'all, I love this body mist. It smells very similar to... Eilish by Billie Eilish and though I do like that fragrance um I was just being cheap how about that I needed to re-up and I was being cheap and I also didn't want to order Nebras and then wait for it because I wanted to use it like that same day so I went to Target and they had one of these left I was looking for the perfume they didn't have it so I went ahead and purchased this so next I picked up this cocoa blush from Good Chemistry. I know you guys probably can't even see that. Um, but this one has notes of coconut water, pineapple, and driftwood. Y'all, I have never smelled this. I know that it was out for a long time, but I never smelled this fragrance before. It smells so good. It's like refreshing, but it's also not like a pineapple that makes you think of just spring and summer like me personally i would wear this now and i'm actually thinking about pairing it with like a rose type of scent so i'm really excited to try it out we will definitely be getting a fragrance combo with this sooner than later but it's pretty next i picked up some edge wax so you guys see my hair in these big old twists and that is how I like to stretch out my hair some. I wear these twists for a couple of days. It's been more than a couple of days now. And then I um, like to take out these twists and then put in mini twists. Mini two strand twists. It takes forever and a day, but I love the way my hair looks in it. I can wear that hairstyle for a while, depending on how I take care of it. And this Murray's Edge Wax really helps for me to like keep the roots looking kind of decent. And the last thing that I got from Target was this Cantu um, braid bonnet. I just needed something that was gonna be big, like a big bonnet, because after I do my twists, like going to sleep on them the first day, it'd be hard because you don't wanna like wake up and then all your hard work goes down the drain when you got some flat twists. And part of the flatness comes from your bonnet being too tight. So I already knew that that was like a possibility. So I went ahead and got one of these big mamas. Okay. So it is a braiding bonnet. You put it on and it is quite long. And I think that this is a good length anyway for my hair because these twists are fitting to be, they fitting to have a couple of inches on them. Okay. So this should be good enough to like make sure that my twists don't crunch up in it and let them just lie down. I did get one more thing from Target. I forgot about this. I haven't tried it out yet because I need to use something else in here before I start doing any of this. But this is the Brow Laminating Gel from e.l.f. I just picked this up. First of all, when did e.l.f. start getting so expensive? Either way, <laughs> I said all that to say, I got this Brow Laminating Gel because girl, I don't know if you can tell, but these brows are so sparse now. I used to have really cute brows and I guess I started tweezing them too much and girl, they are not growing back. I got this to try and give myself the appearance of having some brows. The last two things that are in this bag are from Ulta. So I picked up this Tweezerman um, Rose Gold Facial Razor. If you know, you know, like a girl. I needed one bad girl. I was down bad okay i always shave my face like i like to keep it looking nice and smooth it helps for my skincare routine to really absorb into the skin y'all 
this here thing cost me like $18. But if I'm not mistaken, it has three extra, two or three. How many razors they have in here? I think this has like three replacement blades in it. So each blade is supposed to last you at least a good month for optimal performance. Replace blades every two to three months or as needed. Okay, so bet. So every blade should last you at least two to three months. You can use your blade until it goes dull or until it rusts. Once you see rust on a blade, do not use it, okay? Um, and then last but not least, I picked this up because I have been wanting to try this for so long. And this is the Osea um, Andaria Algae Body Oil. Y'all, I have been wanting to get my hands on this for so long. So let me put a little bit. Let's see. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh, this oil looks pretty. Okay. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, it has like a citrusy scent. It's like a citrusy vanilla. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. So I cannot wait to use this. I love to put my oils on in the shower. So we will be trying that. I can imagine myself using this for more of my fresher, clean girl aesthetic shower time routines. Um, but I like this oil. It's giving the moisture that I like. This is kind of giving off the same type of moisture as my Stephanie's Touch body oils. Okay, so that is it from Ulta and Target. Now moving on, I got a package, y'all. I got a package because there is a Black-owned business that I used to support a lot um, when I first started getting butters and stuff, using butters and all of that. Hold on, I gotta get my handy dandy scissors. Um, but there was a brand, black owned brand. It's called Au Natural Beauty. And I used to support her a lot, but then I kind of fell off. I started just buying Bath and Body Works and all these other things. And she started bringing back her butters. Um, so I said, let me go and. Oh my God. Here we go. It's Au Natural Beauty of brown and tan like neutral colors i love the aesthetic of that um okay so then she has this card in here sweet melanin organic body oil um so she has the how to use the body oils okay so she has her how to and then she also has her ingredient list on the back and the benefits of the body oil and everything so Okay, that is super cute. And then, okay, so I ordered a body butter and I think you get, I, I think at that time you were getting a free oil with purchase. So I got gifted a sweet melanin body oil. Fun fact, I already know about this sweet melanin oil because when I used to shop with her a lot, this was called Sweet Marigold. Like I used to shop with her when she first started and this was called Sweet Marigold. So this is the oil. Oh, she has upgraded a lot. Okay, we got the shrink wrap on here. This is so cute. Oh yes. Oh yes, you guys. All right. Okay, so this is the Sweet Melanin Body Oil. I love this oil, you guys. This is what I used to purchase from her. Um, I ordered a couple of bottles of these <laughs> in my time of shopping with her. And for whatever reason, I well, I know why I stopped. And it had nothing to do with her or her business or her products. I loved them. I just got greedy and I started looking at all these other things that really weren't good for your skin. But the girls were going up for it. So I started buying all of that. And sometimes it's good to just go back to the basics, okay? I always will support a Black-owned, woman-owned business. Even though I am a Black-owned, a Black-owned? <laughs> Even though I am a Black woman who owns her own business selling products like this, I will still support a good 
woman-owned, black-owned business. It is infused with organic chamomile, calendula, and rosehip oil to moisture skin and reduce appearance of dark spots, period. And her products work, y'all. Let's see. Now, I do think, let me not talk too fast, but I do think that she has like an unscented version and then there's like a peach. Yeah, this one is unscented, completely unscented. Oh, this feels so good to the skin. And do y'all see that? It Okay, so I like this oil. It absorbs into the skin very quickly. And the type of oils that she has in here does have really good properties for the skin. But the thing that I like about the oils that she uses is that they do absorb quickly into the skin and they penetrate deep into the skin barrier. So it really helps to like create supple, plump skin. I know she can't technically make that claim, I guess, but it will give you nice, plump skin. And you heard it. It helps reduce appearance of dark spots. Look at that. Ooh. And then look at this one. This was $18. For this fancy old uh, oil, okay? And then, I don't actually know how much this one costs, but this feels so good. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Chanel, because this, yes. I love this, okay? As a matter of fact, and it's a glass bottle. Love this, and I am no stranger to that, okay? I love that oil. And then, last but not least, we have our butter. Now she upgraded her containers for her butters as well. Y'all, she is like the epitome of black girl magic. Let me wipe this down because here I am putting all these fingerprints on here. Okay. And this is our cozy vanilla and shea body butter. And this is how many ounces? Eight ounces. And I think I paid 27, 25, I don't remember. 20 something. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I am sick. <gasps> she pours these. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, okay. This is what it looks like. Just look at that. These are poured. I know a good poured shea butter when I see it. So she, my bet is that she, um, my bet is that she melts everything down, cools it for a little bit. She could even like let these just cool naturally by letting them sit for a day. And then she whips it and it stays in like this, uh, kind of liquidy consistency and then she pours it right into the jars and lets it solidify like that. That's my bet. And so here's a texture shot. I let this sit. I got this yesterday and I did let it sit. So it did harden. It, I, I don't believe it melted at all. It doesn't look like it did. Oh, <gasps> texture. Creamy. Okay. Can you guys even see that? This texture is creamy. Girl, oh, <laughs> that was so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I open this yesterday? Because I'm wearing a really good vanilla like combo today and this would be perfect. Y'all, cozy vanilla and shea. Let me read these ingredients to you. Um, so USDA certified organic. She has shea butter, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, arrowroot, vitamin E, and fragrance. Y'all, this, she has perfected this. Okay. This is better than I remember. I don't remember her butters being like this before. This is better than I remember. Do you hear me? Girl. You did a thing and I love this. And the arrowroot powder, I don't think she adds too much because I've tried, okay? If you guys ever order um, butter from me, you will see that I do not use arrowroot powder. 
Why? Why don't you use our root powder? Because every time that I've tried a formula with it, oh my God, this just, I'm about to put this all over my body. But every time I've tried a formula with our root powder, girl, the feeling of that butter just is not it. It ain't it, sis. It is not it at all. And I'm like, what, what am I doing wrong? It just feels like, it feels really nice at first. And then my skin feels like I put like a dry oil on. It like goes to like a powdery consistency and it does. <sighs> Did y'all see that? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to sit here and talk to y'all. But um, yeah, every time that I use the Arrow Root Powder, my skin feels like I put a dry oil on or like an oil to powder product. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, that's cool for a different type of product. That's not the type of product that I'm trying to make. I need moisture. And this is giving moisture. So she found the right percentage of arrowroot powder because a lot of people, they just be seeing formulas and they're like, oh, add arrowroot powder. So they do whatever they want. And that junk be feeling crazy. It feels like the way that mine felt when I tried to add arrowroot powder. And I tried so many different percentages and it never like combated the greasiness but stayed feeling moisturizing. It either combated the greasiness so much so that it felt as though I was putting a butter to oil. I mean, a oil, huh? What? <laughs> it felt as though I was putting like a butter to powder type of product on. This smells so good. This is like it suggests a cozy vanilla, like how can I even describe? This smells like a natural vanilla. I don't know how to describe this vanilla. It's very pretty. This would be really good for layering. So if you're a girly that not only wants something that is going to make your skin feel good and look, cause girl, what? If you are a girly that is not just looking for something that smells good um, or something that just makes your skin look good, but you want you know, to build on your fragrance or whatever, this is a really nice layering product. This is a good vanilla. This could go with anything in my collection. This is beautiful. Girl, you did a big one. I love this. You did a big one. Y'all are going to see this in rotation a lot. But y'all, hit up my girl. She makes some bomb products, okay? I will put a little something up here in the corner, a picture. Um, and I will also drop her website down in the description bar. Definitely make sure that you click on that. But Au Natural, Au Natural Beauty is where it's at. Get you some. We support out here, okay? So, is that all I got to show you today? Hey, hey. I love you guys. <laughs> I need to cut out half of this video. Okay. All right, you guys. So that is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. Smash the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that notification bell. That way you never miss another video from me. Your favorite girl, Stephanie Chanel. Don't forget to check out my girl, O Natural Beauty. Link is going to be in the description box. Make sure that you click that and check it out. That is it. That is all. I love y'all and I will see you in another one. Peace.